Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Russ with RWGResearch.com here. Now, I got something pretty interesting to show you today. I'm trying to get all my stuff cleaned up, and one of the things that I had up at uh, the farm, which is just an area my uh, dad and sisters, my my dad and her and his sisters own. Um, so my um, my my wife's neighbor back home. So my wife's parents' neighbor's house. There's a guy by the name of Old Man Dutch. And uh, Old Man Dutch passed away probably about five or six years ago. But I met him, talked to him a few times, and his dream was to create an electric car. Okay, that's what he wanted to do. So I'm going to show you in just one second um, the electric car that he built. So I'll be back shortly because my dad's here and i got to talk to him. Oh, now we're going to try to take his motor out real quick. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh, you're done. You're done on there now. Yeah. All right, we gotta what, pull, I'm, what I'm doing here. We got here. we got to pull this out, and I got to take a quick shot of it. Here's here's the big giant electric motor. I'll give you an overview of the car later, but that's what it looks like. And he did a good job. So we're gonna try to pull it out because it might be worth hanging on to. And then I'll show you the rest of this car. Yeah. Don't ask me how, but we got that motor out of there. So let me show you the rest of this car. Um, there was a little bit more to this car when I got it, but I had a friend of mine strip it down for whatever he wanted before I took it to the yard. Uh, there's some leftovers. Don't ask me how we got that out, but we got that out with a little manpower. No, we didn't use any lifts. I literally, I mean, that thing is a brick. That is huge. Look how big that thing is. We got it out with these two poles and that one ratchet strap right there. That little one. Um, anyway, so you can see the little coupling you made up is pretty kind of unique. Just something simple. Um, put some braces back here and off he went. So this Volkswagen Beetle has been through quite a lot. It actually uh, had the back seat in it and stuff. Most of the other, some of the other parts are still in here. I got to take some wires out yet. Keep some of the wire. The rest of it's going to the scrap yard. Most of this stuff was in here, but I had my friend take whatever he wanted and uh, said that's fine with me. The hood still works because it's on springs instead of actuators, which is nice. I gotta take all these cables, battery cables out and stuff. Um, I did actually run this car myself. Um, I did use it. I uh, had. Uh, the commuter car, if you guys don't know, and I took the batteries out of it. Um, I don't have those batteries anymore, but I took the batteries out of it when I had them. And I put them up here. This is where he made a tray to put his batteries. The other ones could go in the back seat or whatever. And, you know, I drove it around, um, but the brakes don't really work. And, I mean, the guy said he pulled the car out of a, uh, like, tree-infested area when he got it. So it was already in bad shape. There's not really any of the floorboards left. You can see, let's see if I can see a little spot. You can see some light down there. Oh, where is that spot? Maybe it's down further. You guys can't see it. I can see it. Why can't I can't see it on the camera? Um. Anyway, it's down there. There it is. See the light coming through? There ain't much panels left in this poor thing. Um, I actually broke the, uh, the steering wheel off today while I was trying to load it on the trailer. <laughs> Luckily, we did have a uh, small tractor to help get it on here with running boards. But, uh, yeah, you know, this poor thing's been through a lot, but it's going to the yard. Um, I was going to take the transmission out, but honestly, I don't think I can get it out of there with it on the trailer. I don't know. It's not. I'm just not going to worry about it, I don't think. Um, anyway, so yeah, pretty cool deal, though. The guy wanted to build... Uh, Build an electric uh, car, so this is what he came up with. This is a this is a monster of a motor. Let's see if we can see what it says. Oh, let's go the other way. It's actually got all the um, the actual cables coming out of it for the uh, armature and the uh, stator winding. There you go. This motor utilizes high temperature varnish commutator connections bearing lubricants and what in inorganic insulation I can't read that word 
Repairs should be made with equipment, materials, Yale. Oh, it's a Yale. Material Handling Division. Eaton, Yale, and Toey. To Town, Tony and Company? Philadelphia. Phil Philly? Philadelphia. Um, part number 1289477-01. Type K. Serial number 8,579. That's a big old thing. It do, It is free. We may have damaged it getting out. I, I don't know. It's, it looks like it kind of bent. That fan in there. It does work, though. Matter of fact, let me get a battery. I want to just see if it'll run on 12 volts. Shall we? All right. <laughs> If it runs on this little gel cell, we got some serious, get some serious motor right here. There we go. I, I don't think it's going to run, but hey, looky there. Oh, maybe that's what's hitting. I think those pins are the only thing that's hitting. So there you go. That's 12 volts. Happy little camper. Maybe I could have driven this thing out of the ditch with uh, these gel cell batteries. <laughs> That's pretty fast for 12 volts. <laughs> look at the look at the size comparison. It's a lot of it's a lot of going for a little bitty battery. Anyway, there you go. That's the Volkswagen, and uh, I never showed anybody this. I just I, it's been up there for probably six or seven years now, and I haven't had time to play with it. Um, so there you go. That's what she looks like. And now, it's going to rest in peace. Being a part of something new. After it's recycled. Well, peace and love to you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thought I'd share that project with you. Um, something pretty unique that a guy dreamed up. Proves to you that if you, th if, you, if you can put your mind to it and you have a dream, you can get it done, guys. There's proof right there. And, uh, did I mention the guy that built this was in a wheelchair? Yeah, he was in like a little roll around wheelchair. He was having a hard time walking when he got older. And uh, he built this thing. So there you go. Peace and love, you guys. I'll talk to you later. See ya. All right.